everyone and welcome back to the channel and today no face cam just a classic voiceover and today i'm gonna be touring for you guys this um funky scandinavian airbnb home that i built and i actually built it pretty quickly but i was inspired by this photo that i saw online so you can see it's like really funky and it's not symmetrical at all so i got the idea right away that i could use the floating room glitch to like accomplish that funky look where there's just like a big room on top of like two of the other rooms so i thought it was really unique and i just decided to just copy the way that it looks from the outside and then i just made my own floor plan and of course my own design for the interior and exterior by also using like um, inspiration from the pictures so you can see here um i just used that um old well, yeah, it's pretty much an old um, patio paving. I never used it before, but I think it went well with like the rocks and then just a little bit of tile here and there. And you can see the floating room. I basically didn't do anything with it. It's just strict strictly for the looks of the outside, but I just used like the wallpaper and the flooring to make it look um, uniform. And then there's just a little pathway. I, I used those wood um, planks that are rugs as a little walkway to the front door and then here is the entryway so there's just a little buffet table with the decoration and then that pretty scandinavian painting and there's also a phone length mirror and then this room is an all shaped room so it just curves here to the side and then there is a door here for the bedroom and there is only one bedroom in this house and like i said i picture this house being more of an airbnb so the owner just kind of decorated it for guests to stay in here for a short weekend or maybe two so I just used the classic urban super simple bed there is a little nightstand with a light a little plant there and then I like those windows how they're just conjoined to like the corner there there is a dresser and as well a little desk in case the guests have some work to do they can work on there and then there is a wood little doorway here and it opens up to the big great room and I really love this room I think it came out really nice and I like how all the wood colors really match each other very well considering that most of the items didn't come together as a set so here I used the tan um, kitchen cabinets from the second season of Influence Island and so just really pretty I did a galley style kitchen and there's the stove there's the sink and then this fridge which drives me crazy that it doesn't connect to the rest of the cabinets. So that's why I never use it. This is my first time using it, but I usually just opt to using one of the regular fridges. But I just decided why not use it for this one. And then there's just a little towel there and also some hanging plants above the sink. And then here is the dining table. So it's kind of just more like a little bar area, but you can obviously eat there. And I've had this table for a pretty long time since, you know, the cafe, the Grande Cafe event came out. But I just have never used it, but I thought it would fit well with this theme of the house. And then here's the little living area. And I like the little rug here on the floor. And then this sofa, I kind of imagine it being like one of those sofa beds. So you can pull out like a mattress. You could unfold it and there would be more sleeping area for extra guests. There's a little side table there with a plant and then just some two succulents on each corner. And then there's also this pretty bookshelf here, which again matches very well. It has like the black um, accents and then also the wood and then just the classic Scandinavian fireplace as a little focal point there. And then in here is another door and here is the restroom. So it's a full three piece restroom and then this wallpaper. I just got it from a mystery box so i decided just to use it here and then i used that um black flooring so really pretty it's basically an all black restroom and then i just put the little shower in that little like section there and then there's a black toilet another little plant and then that double like kind of industrial style sink there so really nice i think it kind of looks like off because it doesn't really go with the theme but at the same time i feel like it still does because there's a lot of like black accents in the house so then through this other door this is just a garage and i feel like it's more of like a like, kind of like one of those garages where you don't technically put your car in because it is really small so i don't even think a car would fit in here but 
there's just the trash bin in here and then just the washing machine so you are able to wash your clothes if you stay in this house and then the little letterbox window I just imagine is a modern garage door because I do wish we still we would get like new garage doors so then you see here there is a nice size outdoor patio and like entertaining area so there's just little planters there's a place for you to sit there's also a grill and then another one of these little like seating benches here I think they're really pretty and again I've never used those either so I need to start using like more items and like older items because I know that is one that has lasted I mean that has been in the game for a long time and then I just imagine that those two gates at the front are able to open up so you can walk into the little patio area and yeah that's basically it and I also wanted to mention that the garage if you wanted to you can just turn that into another bedroom so then this could be a two bedroom house since I know one bedroom homes aren't really like popular I guess but yeah so here's just a quick little overview and the grid will be coming up and I also am gonna start putting in the furniture placement just in case any of you guys want to copy it like basically replicate it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it um, if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up or comment down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye